hello guys welcome back to the channel so there is actually some quite a bit of background noises right now so hopefully you guys can hear me with this whole cicada invasion going on right now but before i show you the new upgrade that i got for the car i don't know if you guys remember the new year's car wash i did on my friend where he actually had also a white is but it had like the whole s4 conversion on the front and he also had like some rgb underglow going on underneath the car and the one thing that stood out the most for me personally was the trunk the trunk was really nice he actually had like a nice paint match going on with the car and he had like a little bit of like carbon fiber exposed around this area pretty much the lip because how the trunk sits on his it'll go like this and then go up it's kind of like a ducktail lip but it was really cool overall of course his car was really clean i'm not going to say anything bad about it it's just that that part of the trunk really just stood out for me and i was just like i kind of want that trunk so that is the whole thing about this video and of course here it is So this trunk is made by Sabon and this is the C-style trunk. They also make the OEM style trunk, which is pretty much the OEM look. You just pretty much have to swap out this trunk with the carbon fiber look. But with this, again, it just has that nice duck lip look to the trunk. And it's really cool and I really like it a lot with this kind of version. So it's the reason why I went with this, just to have that nice duck lip look. So with the Sabon C-style trunk, it's probably going to look as close to this side right here. It's just that this obviously is just like a spoiler, but if this was like molded, it'd probably have like that nice duck lip. But I'm pretty sure with the Sabon trunk, it has more of like a outer lip, so it'll stick out a little bit more and a little bit more up. So definitely going to make a difference. And of course, the whole trunk is carbon fiber. It actually took me two and a half months to actually receive it. There's no like really like distributors that really had it in stock for them to like deliver it immediately. It was pretty much back ordered, but I mean the weight wasn't too bad. I'm also like gonna have the trunk ceramic coated just so it protects the clear coat from it like oxidating. Cause I did also seen this, especially this top area just pretty much like fade away. And not to mention, I might actually just keep the trunk carbon fiber. So I'm not really sure yet whether or not I wanna wrap it with just having that lip part exposed with carbon fiber but I'll see once I have it installed. Anyways, that's enough of me talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the OEM trunk with the new Sabon carbon fiber trunk. We got the black piece out, which is this, which is the cover for the trunk. And these are the clips that you have to remove. They're just plastic clips. Harness, harness, and it should be unclipped. Harness, harness. Also remove the handle for the trunk. Basically, this opens up, it's like a cover. There's two like, fill up screws right here and that's it last thing is the locking mechanism and the this part right here I'm not sure what this is called but yeah that's pretty much it and then once that's dropped the whole harness just comes down to the side right here and then unbolt the trunk and I'm gonna head and put on the new trunk really important to have the screws somewhere so I just have it here aligned got the harness out for the lock part it's really easy just some bolts two screws really and that's it oh yeah i'm trucking this out we're almost done installing it there's just like a couple things that was way different a quick update with the trunk is that so for this piece right here it's kind of hard because the trunk does not originally come with like already like its original holes i mean it's already pre-drilled but the thing is that with the original one with the oem one these nylon nuts already have it inserted to the OEM trunk so I just had a hard time actually removing those and then swapping it to the Sabon trunk so what I did is I actually went to Auto Advance or Auto Parts and bought these vinyl nuts which will fit the 10 millimeter nut and then to make the holes bigger I'm just pretty much using a chainsaw file which is this right here and then just pretty much like expanding the holes a little bit more wider where the pre the holes are already in order to fit the nylon nuts because these right here are so small that these will not fit at all so I have to expand this a little bit more put this back Let me go ahead and show you so 
gonna go ahead and put it back and I just have to like adjust it to where the 10 mil will fit. It's almost done. I just think with the saving chunk, it's a little bit more extra work than what I thought it would be just cause the pressure holes are there, but it's not the exact fitment. So for example, again, the camera, we had to expand the hole a little bit more. It was too small for it to fit, but now it fits perfectly. And same thing with the button to open the trunk and same thing with the LED lights. So it's, it was kind of annoying because I kind of wish Savon already had it like already perfectly pre-drilled. The tail lights are fine, they're perfect. So only thing is just working on this back part right here. So I finished putting the line on nuts in. So they're all in for the camera, for the push button trunk, and for this piece right here in order for this trim to go in. But it seems like based on the holes, I already did the whole pre -drill, like it's not really aligning with the holes where the line ons are. So I think what's holding it is this back piece right here where the camera is. So I'm gonna have to probably like trim a little bit more around this area in order for this like to sit more flush. It's almost there. It's almost aligned. It's just that it's not exactly where the screws need to go. So I got the trim piece on. So it's looking good so far. Just a little misalignment around this area, especially on the tail light, the inner tail light. So this, for example, will be more to the right versus this side. There's still some like slight gap. So I really tried my best to center it, but just the way that they designed this trim piece, there was so much for me to do, so much play around this area. So the camera was really, was really like the only way I knew it was centered but otherwise it's just that extra room right there where it kind of like overlap the right side of the tail light. And that's no biggie because the tail light sits fine. Can't really notice it unless you look at it really close. The other imperfection would be like just this area right here. So once I have it all screwed in, um, it's just like, you know, carbon fiber can't really flex too much. It's not like plastic. So this is not really like flexible, so it has that weird gap right here. So it's like very minor, very little. This cover right here, which is the covers for the LED license plates. I don't want to forcefully put this in right here where I think it's going to hold it. And then next thing you know, it falls down on the road. So I'm not really trying to lose this. So I think in the meantime right now, I'm just going to run it like this. Just cover fiber look without this. So I went to another place just to show you guys a more better angle of the trunk. But finally, it's all done. Oof, oof, oof. Especially this angle. This angle is my favorite part. Just love the way how the trunk goes up. Has that nice duck lip. So it's really tough. I kind of have that same issue what everybody has where the tail lights will not align exactly with the outer tail lights. So I kind of figured what was the issue. So the issue was really with the where the screws really go in, like right here. There are two screws that bolt up to each side, right, on each strut, pretty much. But the thing is that the top screws are the auto are the ones that are all the way screwed in, and the bottom screws ones are kind of like tightened, but they're not all the way in. If I were to screw it all the way in, the trunk for some reason shifts to the right, meaning that it's gonna like I guess sit a lot more closer to this side so what I did really was to kind of like even it out with the screws of like how much I've tightened it on each side so I pretty much did my best to have it all evened out so this gap right here and this gap as well so it's it's even and I did the same thing with the inner tail lights where this might sit a little bit higher and so as well this one right here. They're both sitting evenly a little bit higher, but that's okay with me. That's the best I could do. And 
I mean, it's no big deal. You can't really notice it from far away. But from close, yeah, you'll notice it. When it's like during like nighttime when the LEDs are on, yeah, it's gonna look a little bit off. Maybe around this area because this does connect with this, like all these three lines right here. But I mean, I do have the 2017 version and I think it goes the same way with the 2014 and 16 tail lights where the tail lights are like this in a straight L instead. But mine's like a kind of like a curve. That's the reason why this sits a little bit higher, especially on both sides too. Um, that is again because of that one, those two bottom bolts that are not bolted to each side. They're not bolted all the way in. So if I were to bolt it all the way in again, it'll bring it down, but it'll shift my trunk to the right. Definitely give yourself like at least one full day to really install it. It's not a really direct fitment or direct like install because you do have to do a few holes, a few adjustments to the trunk, especially what I did around this area it might be a little tedious because you're gonna have to do it multiple times pretty much what i did and i did not again i did not include the covers for the led lights just because i don't want to lose them so i just thought of just having a carbon fiber regardless it looks good you can't notice it and yeah it's good really i can't really complain because it is an aftermarket trunk it's not really oem so once you play with like aftermarket parts, nothing's gonna be really OEM, so it's whatever. I do really appreciate that it's full cover fiber, so it looks really tough. And that's what I was looking for with the whole duck clip look. So it looks really good, I like it a lot. So I did actually ceramic coat it, the trunk, so everything's good, for sure. Last but not least, remove the sticker for the Save-On badge. Hope you guys really enjoyed the whole video of me installing the Save-On trunk. And if you guys have any suggestions of like, what other things I can do to really like fix the fitment of the trunk, go ahead and comment down below and I would really appreciate it. But otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy how it looks right now. <laughs> of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.